Hi guys, I'm Ati Plaza Maria Luisa and today we're going to participate in the Generic Summit sponsored by the DOH. I have a, yeah, they got me a shirt. See that? Generic. Okay, this is the start for the motorcade. We're celebrating the generic month of Long Dikada, generic Abot Kamai, Abot Kamai. Okay, so we're going.
Kaya, uh, focuses on the consumers to become proactive in choosing the most affordable medicines in accordance to their needs and increase awareness in the original use of medicines. Back in 1988, I was still a medical officer then of the Nepros Oriental Provincial Hospital when this law was passed. At first, me and my co-doctors in the hospital were not really sold out on it. Uh, we had some doubts not only in the efficacy of generic drugs, but also in the capacity of the Bureau of Food and Drug uh, BIPAD, not to regulate and ensure that only safe, quality, and effective generic drugs will be sold in the market. However, throughout the years, much has been gained in the promotion and use of generics. Acceptance among the populace, even among medical practitioners, has increased. As an example, uh, uh, my own experience with my cardiologist in Cebu prescribed me generic medicines for my maintenance meds, for hypertension, for my cholesterol, and for my blood thinner. I was glad because I found out that they are about 20% to 30% for even... This is because it's support example, right? RA6675, likewise known as the Generics Act of Philippines. It was signed by then President Corazon Aquino and it rolled back the cost of drugs for Filipinos. And it was the first legislation of its kind in the world which changed the pharmaceutical landscape. Tayo po ang kauna-unang bansa sa buong mundo na nag-approve ng isang generics law. Okay? So, what are the features of this law? Ang goals po niyang primarily is to promote, encourage, and require the use of generic terminology in the importation, okay? So it also involves uh, business entrepreneurs, okay? Manufacture, distribution, marketing, advertising, promotion, prescription, and dispensing of all medicines, drugs and medicines. Ano ba kayo ng drugs and medicine? Pharmacies, pasa kamay. <laughs> ano po bang ay bahan ng drug sa medicine? Eh? Walang naglalakas yun? Oh, parenteral. Parenteral. Proud po yun. <laughs> parenteral. Isa sa mga routes ng medicine administration. Okay? Pag sinabi natin drugs, okay, it involves the raw form. Kahit yung pinakon pa lang, kahit yung bagong pitas na dahon, ipapawag nyo, it can be considered a drug. Pag sinabi natin medicine, process na, formulated na, yun yung nagbibili nyo sa bodega. Okay? So, drugs also include all those fresh ingredients na ginagamit nyo to actually treat a particular disease. Whereas medicines, are drugs that have already been processed. Okay? Next. Another aim is to ensure the adequate supply of medicines with generic names at the lowest possible cost and endeavor to make them available and free for indigent patients. Ang generic uh, act po kasi, generics act rather, okay, naglalayan po ito ng pababain ng presyo ng gamot because we would like to compete with the market. Okay? Kasi, predominantly, ang nagahari-harian are the multinationals. Okay? Mataas ang presyo ng gamot kasi mga branding, mga innovators. Pag nag-prescribe ng doktor ng generic, isahan lang niya ng gamot. Okay? Walang brand na premium prefer. Pero, ang visa niya, ang potency niya, ang efficacy niya, ang safety niya, dapat same as the innovator or the branded medicine, okay? Kaya pag si Doc nag-prescribe in generic terminology, it goes without saying na kasing visa niya yung branded medicine kahit hindi siya maglagay ng brand, okay? So it will give you a choice, an informed choice to actually buy the medicine according to your capacity to 
today. Hindi kayo mapipilitang magbayan dahil yun ang prescribe nito pag nalitlagay siya ng preferred brand. Hindi yun ang pwedeng ibenta sa inyo lang ng pharmacist or ng pharmacy assistant. You can always demand, ayoko po ng brand na to, gusto ko yung mas mura dito. Eh, hindi po kayo mapaparusahan to. Ang mapaparusahan to, yung nag insist na ito lang ang prescribe nito, ito lang ang pwede yung bilhin. Okay? Next. To encourage the extensive use of drugs with generic names through a national system of procurement and distribution. Through this law, actually, procurement of the government, all those uh, buying medicines for their employees are actually re uh, required to write it in generic terminology. Pag nag-PR, bawal mag -brand because of this law. Okay? Para pantay-pantay lahat ng mga gamot na nasa market. Next. So, dapat merong mandatory generic labeling, generic prescription of uh, policy, uh, strict generic prescribing in the public and private sector. So, walang exception. Walang exception to the rule. Lahat ng doktor dapat nagpre-prescribe in generic terminology. So, pag may nakita po kayong reseta ng branded kagad ng nakasulat, that physician is liable. Okay? He violates the law. Dapat merong generic term bago yung branded name. Okay? Generic dispensing and substitution in pharmacies. Okay? Bawal magsulat na no generic substitution ng isang prescriber. Okay? Pag nagsulat siya ng generic name, okay? Any chemical ingredient na may ganun naman pwede i-dispense ng pharmacies. Okay? And then, generics when you card in drug stores, the law mandates that all pharmacy outlets should have a generic menu card so that when you buy a particular medicine prescribed by your doctor, you can always have at least a choice of what to actually purchase. So, ito po yung mga administrative orders following the Generics Act. AO number 51, CDC of 1988, okay? Implementing guidelines for all DOH employees to comply with the law. And then it was followed a year later by AO number 62, rules and regulations to implement prescribing requirements under the Generics Act of 1988. I need to refresh your memory para malaman nyo yung mga doctors na pasaway. Okay? Pag nakakita kayo ng isang reseta na ang generic name, eh hindi nakasulat, bracket kagad yung bumita, okay? It is a violative prescription. Okay? No substitution is added. Isa na namang violation yun. Another type of prescription is the erroneous one. Mas nauna yung brand name kesa ron sa generic name. Okay? Mali po yun. Ang bida lagi would be the generic terminology. Mahirap na lang kapag hindi nyo maalala which one is the generic name and which one is the branded one. Diba? Tapos, kung minsan, yung generic name ang nasa parenthesis, parang pinalalabas na yun yung branded name. Hindi po yun, ha? And the brand name is not in parenthesis. Yung nakalagay po dito na more than one product is prescribed in one RX form, na-receive na po yan because of the Environmental Act. Nagtitipid na po tayo sa papel, pinayagan na po ang mga doktor na mag-polypharmacy. For as long as yung sakit ng pasyente, cover nung mga prescribed na gamot dito. Okay? And you should know your physiology as well. Siyempre, halimbawa, kung nag-prescribe si Doc ng amlodipin, tapos merong multivitamins, medyo mong tatanong kayo, bakit kailangan ng multivitamins? I-high blood lang naman to. Tapos makikita niya yung pasyente, yung lusog-lusog. Diba? Impossible prescription, okay? Only generic name is written, pero hindi naman mabasa. Tanong kayo ng pamit ng ulo nyo. E eh, hindi kayo ng tingin, nagsalamin pa, okay? To no avail. Hindi nyo talaga mabasa kung ano yung sinulat ni Doc. That's an impossible prescription. And then, pag sinabing para seta mo, tapos ang nakalagay, nor pass. Anong klaseng prescription yun? Impossible. Okay? It does not correspond in brand name doon sa generic name. And then, 
both generic things, sumunod nga sa batas, pero, nando doon yung branding, pero hindi nyo pa rin mabasa. Okay? Those types of prescription, you should always keep. And then, contact the doctor, lalo na yung mga pharmacies. Or, pwede nyo ibigay sa mga pasyente, and then, bumalik sa doktor, kasi hindi raw po mabasa itong sulat niyo. There is a common misperception na ang mga pharmacists daw magagaling magbasa ng sulat ng doktor. Tama? Hindi yeah. naman tinubo sa atin. Yes. Yeah. Diba? Yeah. It takes practice to actually decipher those hieroglyphics. Mga kinahit ng manok. Pero maganda po sulat ko, by the way. Okay? And then the drug product is not registered with the then Bureau of Food and Drug Administration. Ngayon, Food and Drug Administration na lang siya. Formulation of that particular drug. Okay? So, pag-covered pa ng patent, walang generic. Okay? Pag nag-expire na yung patent, doon pala magkakaroon ng generic medicine. Okay? They can be labeled by their IMN or International Non-Procurement non-proprietary name or generic name and may or may not have brand names. Okay? Ang mga binibili gamot ng gobyerno wala talaga brand. These are the unbranded generic medicines. These are the two blue generic medicines. Yan, isa sa mga uneasy materials namin na dinidistribute nationwide for this year. Ano ang generics? Pinagalit lang po yung definition kanina. Mas murang alternatibo sa mga branded medicines at nagtatagal ng parayong active ingredient. Ano ba ang tagalog ng active ingredient? Nahihirapan kami kaya in close to patient. Okay? Kaya mas, makakasiguro parayong epekto nito sa pasyente. Okay, lunch time.